Hello, hello. My name is Bree Sedano, and I'm a personal finance expert and the founder of From Sheep to Shark. And I am super pumped to be here to talk to you today about the invisible system to stop bleeding money and start stacking cash. Now, typically, I work with my clients for six months at a time, working in depth on their money, like getting their money to match their life goals. And we do strategy, we do planning, we do implementation, we do habits, we do mindset. Um, and I found that the one thing that every single one of my clients needs is cash flow management. Financial problems <clears throat> and all of the bad feelings associated with money all stem from the root of money management. Now, luckily, it is the crux of the solution too. And so listen, I'm sure you already know this, but money problems suck. And I have to tell you that for most of us, it's not a true lack of resources. It is really a cash flow management issue. And so here are some symptoms if you, so that you'll know if you have cash flow issues. So if you run out of money before your next paycheck, if you have no clarity as to where your money goes, if you have credit card debt, um, if you have anxiety about making regular purchases, if you pay fees like late payment fees or overdraft fees, or if you're, you want to save, but you're just not able to, or if you find money coming out of savings. So there are a lot of reasons that amazing people suck at budgets, right? And so everybody's saying, just get a budget, live below your means, right? And so budgets are not common sense in the first place. It's, it's, there's a lot going on there. The second reason is that when we have budgets, we don't fully understand all of the habits where the money bleeds out in low joy purchases. So we end up making cuts in the things that we love the most because we remember doing that. Now the budget process feels so bad every step of the way. It feels sad, it feels depriving, it feels like you can't, like you're limited, like wearing pants that are too small. Oh, and then the last reason is that credit card companies, retailers, and marketers have a deep understanding about what drives spending behaviors, and we don't. And so in the next 45, maybe an hour, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to do it quick. Um, I'm going to show you the exact system I teach with my imperfect clients who have busy lives without budgeting, without envelopes, without feeling like a pauper, without sucking all the fun from their life. So if you stay with me all the way to the end, I'm going to bribe you with some super cool worksheets to, to start to do your numbers. So I want to tell you a tiny bit about me before we get started. So I started and fin and finance uh, with a big brokerage firm, Edward Jones. So I earned all my securities licenses and my insurance licenses, but I realized that most people don't have so much money that they need help diversifying their portfolio. That's not where people were coming to see me. And so I learned that even people who are making good money were having trouble. And when I started doing this, I was giving clients budgets. I was like, hey, listen, we could totally get you to save some money or we could totally pay off that debt if you could just follow this budget and that it wasn't working. Then I tried cash, uh, like, hey, if you try this and then you take out cash for your spending, this will work. And that didn't work either. And so that's why I invented this invisible system. It's because I realized that there's a big disconnect between what people want to do and what's actually happening. So my career goal is to help a million people improve their financial lives. And I want to give away a hundred million dollars. Um, and so that's, that's it. So you're in the right place. If you make good money, but you feel like you're a step behind financially, if you have student loans, credit cards, or other debt that weighs down on you, if you feel overwhelmed or frustrated when it comes to your money and you know, you could be doing better. And this is key. You're ready to, to make a change. You're ready to do the things. Um, because you see that progress is possible. You just see that other people making similar incomes or even less money doing way better than you. When, like, and it leaves you wondering, well, what are they doing differently? And what am I doing wrong? Like, what's my problem here? So uh, we're just about to get started. And so pay attention, turn, like minimize your distractions, close out of the Facebook um, because this is going to move fast. And I put a ton of really good value into this presentation for you. And you already hear that I talk fast. Are you ready to get started? You ready? Okay. So at first, I just want you to take a moment and think for just a second what your life will be like when you have control over your money, when you are able to invest when you are able to pay the bills without worry or without leaving yourself with nothing to be able to do it, when you have a cushion for the unexpected, when you are able to take vacations 
or make home renovations. And most importantly, when you are able to buy something for yourself without it being covered in a terrible guilty feeling and when you're actually making progress toward your life goals. I just want you to take a second to think about that because money holds people back so much. So what does that mean for you? And so this is what it meant for Kristen Marie. So she took the cash flow workshop and woohoo, she believed that she was bad at money when really she didn't know what the heck to do with it. This method was the shift that she'd been craving. Organized, easy way to understand um, how to make money manageable and take those right next steps toward financial freedom and future. She had a lot of shame and embarrassment around money and leading with these strategies and non-judgment um, allowed her to move beyond these emotions in only two weeks. She's feeling confident and she's changing her relationship with money. So I want you to know financial independence is possible no matter where you're starting from. But always, always, always managing your money is a prerequisite. Once you can successfully manage your money, it's possible to do those really cool like strategies that we hear about, like using an investment property to pay off your student loans. I have clients doing that, but they had to learn how to manage their money so that way we could get the down payment. You want to let the stock market work for you? Awesome. You have to have the money to buy the stocks. You want to have your investments pay the bills? Fantastic. You have to have the money to buy the investments. And so everything that you want to do with your money starts with cash flow. So you have to stop bleeding your money and start stacking cash. So truth bomb one. You ready? You ready? Okay. Truth bomb one. Budgets, money envelopes, these things don't work in real life. So did you know that 78% of Americans report living paycheck? Another 39% of Americans have outstanding credit card debt. 69% of Americans have less than $1,000 saved for an emergency. And 42% of people 55 and older have no retirement savings at all. And so I just want you to know that, that the, like, look at, oh, oh, these are big numbers. 78 report living paycheck to paycheck. So listen, the, the conventional wisdom out there is failing for the vast majority of people. And so if you've tried budgets and they don't work for you, it's because the budget isn't the problem, right? The math always works on the paper. When I was doing this for my clients, believe, believe me, the math would work, but it doesn't, that doesn't translate into execution. So here's, this is, I'm just gonna take you down the rabbit hole of the budget fail. So you start and you write down all your, you write down all your expenses, right? And so your typical budget looks like this. You have your groceries, all your, you know, this is obviously incomplete, but then what happens is we forget some of the things that we actually spend money on. So the budget is incomplete in the first place. And so it's, it's, already, it's already doomed to fail because there's things in there that we're missing that we still need. Then in real life, we, we go to the store, but we don't have the budget with us. And so trying to remember every single line item, um, what you've already spent and what was allocated is meant, it's an, it's an impossible task. So when you're at the store, all you're checking is, do you have money in your bank account, right? And so then you realize that your budget went to, went, you know, went down the toilet, but you realize it after the fact. And so then you try to remember what happened, what you did that was the wrong thing to do. And then you blame the spending that you actually enjoy and value. I can't even tell you the number of clients who have money issues. Now, they might be bleeding $500 a month at the grocery store, but they will tell you, man, it is that yoga class that they do. <laughs> like, it is the stuff that they love. It's, it's the nails. It's getting my hair done. When it's, no, it's buying cheap throw pillows at Marshall's. And so feeling deprived and resentful of the budget, because now you feel like a failure. And then you admit defeat, you judge yourself harshly, and the whole thing starts again when you realize that you need, you need to do something to control your money. Now, listen, the, the feeling of being judged is awful. And these comments were comments that are, that are on the ad for this webinar that you came to. And this is what's out there. So like, basically everything is saying that if you can't work a budget, it's because you suck right? It's your fault. And that none of that is true. Uh, look at this. Um, it's called getting rid of expensive cable or smartphones. You don't buy expensive cars and you learn how to cook from scratch. Listen, this is just total BS. This isn't right. And here's how the budgeting thing happens. So we do our planning 
in the front part of our brain. That's like where our human mind is, where we can set goals, where we can do the thinking. The execution does not happen in that part of your brain. The execution happens in the subconscious. Now the subconscious is a way bigger part of your brain with way more going on. And so the planning is easy. The execution is hard. And so that's where the disconnect is because the subconscious is the, where you're like, did I, how did I end up with that bag of chips? What, what happened here? So managing your cash flow requires more than just a plan. Like budgets are just a plan and you need more. What you need is a system. Now you need a system that's simple so that way you can remember, like so that way you have that mental clarity of it. You need a system that fits into your current life. If you try to make massive habit changes all at once, it doesn't work. You can only do it for a small period of time. You ever try like, a crazy diet plan, how many days can you do it for? Not too many, right? And you need a system that gets you saving money from the get-go. You don't have, yeah. So the cash envelope system tries to solve the budget fail, right? By creating a manual system of cash management. And so you make your budget, you get the envelopes, you go to the bank, you use the cash from the envelopes that you need to buy the stuff every week, uh, right? The problem with the, the envelopes is that it's a massive habit changing nightmare. Now, one, it encourages month to month thinking and not big picture thinking, which is a problem in, in and of itself. But the real issues is that it just doesn't work because it clashes with our digital lifestyles. Like how often are you actually carrying cash around? And if you had to stop home on your way from work to get your envelope to buy a gallon of milk, are you gonna throw this plan right out the window? Is pretty much what happens. Because it requires massive habit changes all at once. It requires that you manually track your purchases instead of using all of the wonderful like tracking technology that's out there. It requires that you go to the bank. Who has time for more errands? And it requires that you like really step up your planning game so that way we have the right envelopes at the right time. And then you have to be able to sustain these changes for your plan to actually work. Like it's not one of those things where you can, can do it for a period of time and then go off of it because it, it doesn't really teach you anything. It just puts a commitment device in. So listen, what, what works is you want to have systems and automation do the work for you. So the first thing is you wanna separate your money by purpose rather than by line item. Now simplicity helps to maintain clarity. And I'm gonna talk about this more in secret three, but you don't wanna, when you have a hundred line items, it's easy to forget what you have in your budget for, for anything. Well, what's my clothes budget this month? I don't know, who knows? And so simplicity helps to maintain that clarity, which helps you to actually do the things when it comes to the execution. Now you want to add that commitment device with supported habit change. So the cash envelopes is the commitment device where if you run out of money in your envelope, you see that you like see that physically, and then you would have to take money from a different envelope if you wanted to. Right. And so that is a, that's a commitment device. It means you're not gonna accidentally overspend. You're gonna do it on purpose, right? But the thing is, is you need that supported habit change because systematic change in automation should support the habits, making it easier for you to maintain. So you, basically you wanna set it up so that way you do the work once, but you get the benefit for the entire you know, rest of your life. So Jody Podorsky said, this woman is changing lives. She's helping to educate people how to handle their finances and teaching them how good and bad financial decisions affects us in the real world. This is so important and no one ever taught us this in school. And so this is Michelle and she is one of my clients who went through the invisible system. And this is what she had to say about it. He said when I started that I hate money and I always have, I've always hated money. I've never liked it. I've never liked managing it. So I saw a lot of Bree's videos um, and I followed her. And what I really wanted was someone who kind of made money make sense. Having the ability to really understand money better and understand why I kind of kept messing up with money and I kept sabotaging myself and how to be able to get myself out of that state so that I could stop trying to keep my money in budgets and I could stop trying to worry about if I had my money envelopes and all these other flaky things that I had tried and start actually being able to use money. So I think the big transformation is that I really feel like now I know 
how much money I have and where it's going and being able to have more of a comfort level with it and feel like it's not something that has to control me, but it's something that I can control too and I can use it to do the things I want to that are important to me and my family. And I think so many of us actually kind of hate money. It's a, it's a problem because the way that we've been doing it is stressful and it's basically impossible and it makes us feel like we failed, even though that's not really the truth. Okay. So truth bomb two, debt free is not absolutely not the first step to building wealth. Whew. Ah, I know people, people are like, what do you mean? I just want to be debt free. So the idea that you have to pay off all of your debt as fast as you can before you save money, before you build wealth perpetuates the scarcity cycle. And here's how it happens. This is the hamster wheel of debt. So let's just say you start out. Number one, you have some debt. Number two, you use all of your money to pay off your debt. Number three, you have an un unplanned expense come your way. Number four, you borrow the money for the expense. Number five, you have debt. And so the real problem with debt is that the debt comes from a scarcity mindset and the habit of needing money. So you have to change your thinking and change the habit. So here's how the scarcity cycle works. If you feel like you don't have any money or you tell yourself, I can't afford it every single day, you are going to do things to get rid of your money. Um, most of my clients bleed. Like and when I say bleed, I mean spend money that they're not exactly sure where it goes and they're buying things that don't necessarily make them happy or improve their lives at all. So most of my clients are bleeding somewhere between $500 and $2,000 a month, depending on how much money they make, obviously. And so this money is just, it's going out, it's getting wasted. Sometimes we overbuy with food and then we throw our groceries away. Sometimes we're overextended. Sometimes it's, it's whatever. But typically the money goes out in small transactions, 40, 50 bucks here and there. Then all of your money is gone and you need money for something. Now this reinforces the idea that you don't have enough money. So you have all this bad feelings, you have proof that you don't have enough money and you may even take on debt to be able to do this. And so this is the scarcity cycle and you have to change your habit around needing money versus having money to really get out of it. So the way to get out of the scarcity cycle and the way to actually pay off your debt like once and for all is to choose the best strategy for your situation. Now there are seven ways to pay off credit card debt. Then you wanna put a plan in motion and, and stop focusing on it, stop worrying about it. Because once the plan's in place and you take the actions every single month, you really wanna redirect your focus toward the savings that you do want, toward the vacation that you are planning, because what you focus on grows. So you wanna stop focusing on your debt. Now, so once that plan is in place and you have the best strategy for your situation, you want to start to save money, start stacking cash for the unexpected while you pay down your debt. Now, listen, this seems like it'd be slower. People, I get pushed back on this all the time. They say, Brie, but I'm paying interest. I don't want to pay interest. The thing about it is you have to start having money. And that means you have to save some. You have to start stacking it because then you can start to pay for things with cash and your debt will continue to go down rather than two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, three steps back, because that's what most of us are doing when we're on that uh, super rushed way to pay off debt. And so you need to end the habit of, of needing money. And so you have to swap that for the habit of having money. So you, this system is going to teach you how to start saving money for the unexpected while you pay off your debt. Now, debt free doesn't necessarily mean you're in good shape. I have all types of people that say, well, I'm debt free. So obviously I'm the king of money, right? <laughs> That's silly, but so listen, you could pay your credit cards in full each month and still be in trouble. You can have no credit card and still be in trouble. And the thing is, it's because if you're not saving, then you just have debt that's waiting to happen because life is always going to throw you an unexpected expense from time to time. It's always going to happen. And so if you are not able to save, you're still not in great shape. And so this is how Marianne Silva felt after mastering secret number two. So she loved this program and working with me. This helped her get her on track with her money goals at a time where she was killing it. She was making a ton of money, but wondering 
where is all my money going? And now she's set up with a system that's built her savings and investments. She has another account where she doesn't have to worry about the unexpected faces or unexpected um, costs. And then she jokes like, let's face it. And it's usually the car taxes, you know? Um, she paid off one of her credit cards and she's on a clear track to have all her other debt gone in no time. She would totally recommend working with me for anyone looking at how to get their money to do the things that they want them to do. And this is Christian. So she just finished the scarcity mindset exercise, which is in the invisible system. And it was pretty revealing. There is a definite pattern to my behavior, feast or famine, distracted, complacent, multitasking, pressure cooker. I both overindulge and deprive myself. I work overtime to get things done because I waste time procrastinating. So this was a good exercise for her. And so this is Michelle, who is another client um, that she will tell you about her experience with secret number two. I had to become a stay-at-home mom after the birth of my second daughter because I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease. And going from two incomes to one and relying on my husband was really difficult. With one income, we needed to figure out how to make sure we can pay off all of our debt. Um, in addition to paying preschool for my little one and buying groceries and mortgage. Um, and it's something that I didn't really know how to do. And I was, again, just really scared to do it. Well, the first part, just in general, um, of gathering all of our bills and looking at our bank statements and seeing where our money was going was kind of the aha moment. Like I realized, I always said, we don't have the money. We don't have the money. We can't do it. We can't do it. And then when I look at the bank statements, I saw all these little purchases that went to like Target and Amazon Prime and, you know, eating ice cream or whatever. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> if we didn't do this, if I didn't get this, then we actually do have the money so where's our money going and that was like ah oh. um before i was terrified and scared of looking at our finances and now i'm a little bit more at ease now that i have guidance um and a system and a method and a way to look at it um, without being scared man i just i just love her oh oh we're not gonna listen to it again sorry oh no all right <laughs> A truth bomb three. So this is where I'm going to tell you the five types of money that you have to have to stop bleeding money and start stacking cash. And I just love doing, I love this stuff. It makes me feel so happy. All right. <clears throat> so the invisible system replaces budgets. It replaces cash envelopes. Now, what you really need to make your money under control and to be able to keep it that way is a system that works with your brain, with your behaviors, because you're a human. And so we want to we wanna eliminate a lot of that disconnect that happens between the front part of your brain and the back part of your brain, between the planning and the action taking parts. So you need a plan that's simple. So that way, this is where we talked about separating by purpose rather than line item. So that way you can maintain that mental clarity of it and it's not overwhelming. The second thing is you want something that has supported habit change. Third thing is you need something that breaks you out of that scarcity cycle. You need something that also allows space for some impulse. Nothing will derail a budget more than having to live in deprivation mode for too long. It doesn't work. You have to have a little bit of wiggle room to buy yourself a latte or a new bra without feeling bad about it, right? And you have to be able to get started where you are. Most people don't get started because they think that they'll get started managing their money when all their money problems are gone. You know, like, oh, I'll hire a personal trainer when I'm skinny already. Like, it doesn't work that way. So this lets you get started where you are today. You don't need to be perfect. And so there's three types of cash flow that this system will work for. So first is positive cash flow. And then what we're going to do is focus on finding the bleed. So when I say bleed, I mean money that goes to places that you don't know or really appreciate or get a lot of joy from. So that way you can allocate your money in alignment with your goals, like vacations or big house repairs or college for your kids or whatever floats your freaking boat, right? The second one is tight cash flow. And so then we were going to focus. And so when I say tight cash flow, I mean, what goes out is almost the same as what comes in. And so you have to learn to be more efficient and move toward freeing up the cash flow so that way you start to get into that positive cash flow mode. And then you can start to save the money for your goals. Now, if you're in negative cash flow, the thing that you need to do is start building good financial habits. This is where getting out of that scarcity cycle is so important. And while you're changing your patterns and perspectives that are actively moving you away from your from what you want. So 
<clears throat> the thing to do first is to get clear on all your numbers and simplify. So like I said earlier, you want to think about your money by purpose. So how much money are you are you going to make work for you? How much are you going to invest? How much does it cost for you to have your day to day bills, right? Your monthly bills. And then we have to, I have a, we have another account for the, they're, they're usually not unexpected. They're your regular expenses, like your taxes, your 401k loans, weddings, you know, back to school time. And then you want to put some money aside for your vacations, your home repairs, your large purchases, the stuff that's really important to you. And then purpose, like your daily spending, your, your latte money, your margarita money. That's, you want to separate so you have five main purposes for your money. <clears throat> then you want to control how the flow goes. So the first place that your money should go should be the money that you're going to keep, that investment money, the money that you, you are going to employ to work for you. The reason that happens first is because nobody effectively saves money from the bottom of their bank accounts. You have to put the savings in first, right? So that's, that would be the first spot that your money should go it would be to your investment thing, right? You're, and it, there's a zillion different ways to invest and we go over all of that. Now, the second place is that you are, your money should go is to your bills account. And so this is the money that you're going to use now on your bills. And I'm going to even teach a system to, <clears throat> in that feast or famine cycle where most of the bills are due, most clients have all their bills due on the first of the month. And then the second half of the month, they, they have extra money, right? And so I'm going to show you how to even that out. <clears throat> Then the third place is you want money to go to your working capital account. Now this is the this is the unexpected expenses or the irregular expenses money. And so this is stuff that you need, you just don't need this month. Now this is the main area where people drop the ball when it comes to their money is because they don't, <clears throat> when you're stuck in scarcity, it does, it does this to your perception and it's so tight that you don't really, ever get out of your own way. And so starting to, to calculate that and start to put money away for that is the way to start stacking cash. Then the third or fourth place, fourth place that you want your money to go is toward your important things. Your, the big stuff, the big, like the memories, the vacations, the whatever is important to you, but that's where you want that to go. Then pocket cash is where you're gonna use your like spending money. And that's the last spot they would that the money should go. And so when you put it in an order of operations, it ends up working out better because what most people do is they only have money in this side of the equation. They don't have enough in savings. And so when you then what ends up happening is then they don't have the stuff that they need that would be in their working capital. And so then they're going into debt or they're worrying about it. Life is so stressful when you have what you want, but not what you need. Does that make sense? Life is so stressful when you have what you want, but not what you need. And so the order of this puts, puts it in priorities. <clears throat> and so this is how Gina Wallace felt. So she recently uh, took the cash flow class and it was really great. She learned a lot for herself and she applied these things to her business. A lot of her trouble was mindset and changing the way that she looked at things. Um, so she used the class to find a bleed where she could have been putting money in another account um, for savings that came up. And so since she's taken this class, she's opened up the separate accounts and she's learning to adjust and manage her finances. So this is Nanette. So Nanette, while uh, I always had what I needed and maybe a little bit more, it wasn't until I was a teenager, maybe um, later that I learned that my mom was so deeply in debt. She always purchased everything in credit without having a plan for how it would get paid. I guess that's why my debt, credit cards especially, really stresses me out. I never really learned how to manage my money um, and plan for purchases until this program. And so this is Robin. She is another person who came through the class and this is what she had to say about it. Um, I didn't really have a system. And I think probably like most people, I just, it was paycheck to paycheck, um, making sure the major bills got paid. Um, and then, you know, whatever extra there might be at the end of the month, maybe found its way into savings. Um, but it also might've found its way into things that it didn't really need to find its way into. So, so we ended up at the end of every paycheck with really nothing left and starting the cycle all over again when the next one came in. To think of my money differently, um, that it has different purposes 
and by assigning it to accounts that are set up specifically for those purposes, um, it, it just, it freed me up and allowed me to really look at what was coming in and what was going out and how it was doing that. And because it was all separated and allocated, it was simple. And I realized through using the system and looking at the system that I can still pay myself first, even, even if it's a small amount of money, um, that because of the structure of, of the way everything is set up and because it's so simple to allocate to this and this and this, that the bills do get paid at the end of the day. And I've saved for myself first. So I feel like, first of all, I, I, I feel like I am more in control than I was before and that I can do the things that I want to do that I will not have to work until I die was a big aha moment. <laughs> I love that. I feel like so many people just feel like they're going to have to work until they die. Oh, come on. All right. So what we need to do to get you here is to systematize, systemize, systemize <laughs> and automate. So this helps make your changes stick because the action happens habitually without you actually having to make a habit change. So this is where you use the technology that's available and already out there to, to essentially assist you so that way you get the desired results without having to do all the work. So listen, the thing that I want you to take away from this is that you always wanna be stacking cash automatically. You wanna be doing savings automatically with automation. Um, I'm going to tell you a super quick story. So, so when I was doing investments, I had two clients sign up for uh, college savings accounts for their kids. One was a hairdresser. She made about mm, 45, 50,000 and she set up uh, $50 a month split between two kids and the other one owned a car dealership and they were probably doing about a hundred, 110. Um, and they said that they did not want the automation and that they would write the checks. So the, the hairdresser, the, the money went in every single month. Um, and that was it. And a few years later, her cat, kids with the growth and with the constant like contributions had thousands of dollars. The other one only sent three checks out of a 12, out of 12 months. So they sent that monthly amount that they had decided that they were going to send only three times because every single time they had to put that behavior in and they had to, to do that. So you always want to be stacking cash automatic, automatically. This drastically increases your success rate because it doesn't require you to feel the pain of it, right? So the other thing is you want to start where you are. So the focus has to be on habits and behaviors. It's better to save even just one little dollar a week than let the excuse live that you're not an investor, right? Like, because now you've changed essentially who you are. I went from not being an investor to being an investor, even if it's only $1 a week. So it's better to project your expenses and save what you can than to live in a constant struggle. So a lot of the pushback I get with this is free. I'm not going to have enough money to fully fund that working capital account. Well, okay, do your best, do what you can, because even if you get half of it or less than half of it, then that reduces the stress in your life by half. And who doesn't need that? Now listen, it's better to pay a few extra months of interest and to be able to build financial strength while you're paying off debt than to stay in that scarcity cycle where you stay essentially on the credit card teat, right? <laughs> we, wanna, we wanna stop doing that. So here is how Melissa Salvia felt after she mastered secret number three. She recommends working with, with me because it's helped her and her husband get control of their finances and crush their goals. They are in their dream house. They're managing their expenses. They're saving for retirement. They're saving for a family vacation. Don't waste another second um, or penny without her guidance. So this is how Holly felt. Bree is amazing. Her financial advice has helped me so much in the last few years. She's implemented a few of the strategies. She no longer feels like she's drowning. She finally knows where all of her money goes. She's able to keep track of it. She's lowered her car payment. She's lowered her credit card debt. And she's even lo lowered the withholding on her paycheck so that she can have her money now instead of later. So listen, budgets, cash envelopes, and even manifesting money... <laughs> 
manifesting money is a, is a funny idea um, because it totally does work. But the thing about it is if you're not good with a little, having more doesn't help. So budgets don't work, cash envelopes don't work. Um, debt-free, the idea of being debt-free is probably keeping you broke and keeping you running on that hamster wheel of debt. And the invisible system to stop bleeding money and start stacking cash, that's what we went over today. So today I promised to teach you the entire exact system that I used um, for my clients to manage their money, to pay off their debt without feeling like a pauper. And so what I want to say is that information alone doesn't get results. 78% of Americans are failing at money, and I don't want you to be one of them. But the reason they're failing is because they know what to do, right? We all know what to do, but we don't know how to do it. We're not doing it. All right. So today I have a special offer to help you implement this system and finally get rid of your money troubles. So do you guys want to hear it? All right. So introducing dun, 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 the invisible system to stop bleeding money and start stacking cash. Um, okay, so I built this system after years of working with clients. I started by giving them good budgets, that didn't work. I started by suggesting cash diets, that didn't work. And I started to really become obsessed with all the reasons these methods aren't working. And then we started I started to, to, when I really understood that the changes that needed to be made became clear. And so this is where we started the systems and automation. So listen, the, what you're going to get in the invisible system is five hours of instructions of exactly what to do and how to do it. So part one is saving to invest. You're going to know how much, where it should go, all the things. Part two is paying the bills. And this is where I'm going to teach you how to systemize your bills so that way you can pay your bills in 10 or 15 minutes a month um, and really get rid of that feast or famine cycle where half of the month you have extra money and the other half you're like eating ramen. Working capital is so important. This is where you're going to learn how much money you actually need to save for these unexpected expenses that, that keep coming up. Part four is we're going to break down how to set financial goals for big, important things. So that way you can stop saying, I can't afford it when it comes to all the big things that would really give you a lot of joy and happiness in your life. Part five is where we're going to talk about all of the pocket money and pretty much how to change your habits around spending and how to balance all of what needs to be done. And then part six is the invisible system. It's setting all of it up. So I just want you to hear from Esther who started doing this. She has some really great things to say about the level of stress that was in her money situation. I can already feel myself, my stress level already going down. I have to force myself to do this and I had to force myself to go through the class and force myself to like sit down and do it because it's not something I want to do because it's very uncomfortable for me. It brings up a lot of things that I don't want to deal with and that I don't want to talk about. And that's really bring up a lot of anxiety for me. So I really had to force myself to do it. But the more that I keep going, the more that the stress level actually goes down, not like what I thought where it would be worse, it actually is going down. And so for me, that's actually already a huge, that's a big deal. My mindset and the way that I think about finances and money is starting to change. And so I have more clarity, I'm getting more organized, I'm more on top of stuff. And that in turn means that I end up having more money because I'm not making bad decisions and I'm not wasting it because I'm not tracking it on the right things. And um, it just all is kind of coming together rather than me just being stressed out and trying not to spend any money all the time because that's not sustainable. Yeah, I love that when she says it's not sustainable to, to do all the things. And so this is Krista, and she also did the invisible system, and she did massive progress around debt, and then she's going to tell you about it. There was no end in sight. It was like an oncoming train. That's what the light was. Um, um, we were in debt probably over, over $100,000 with between credit cards and loans, car payments, tuition, that type of thing. We've actually been able to pay off about $30,000 so far since working with Bree. So that has been a huge help. Um, by paying stuff down, we were just able to free up more cash flow and come up with a better plan on, okay, so these bills are paid off. Now we're going to take that money and we're going to put it to this debt. 
So she did so good. And so this is what Maisha Zakrewski had to say. So she said, before beginning our work with Brie, my husband and I were very financially insecure. And so this system does more than just impact the amount of money in your bank account. She helps to change your mindsets. My issues in particular had nothing to do with the amount of money in my accounts and everything to do with how I perceived money. If you wish to save more money, get out of debt, or if you think that money is the root of all evil, she would suggest working with me. So listen, the last bit of this is, you get to start where you are. If you have positive cash flow, if you have tight cash flow, even if you have negative cash flow, you get to start where you are. There is no need to be perfect. You just need to start making moves. You can start to change this, your situation, no matter if you're feeling like, man, you just bleed, or if you're feeling like kind of desperate about it, you get to change either way. So the number one reason that people don't get help to fix their money problems is because they say, if I had the money to buy this program, I wouldn't need the help, right? This is like, <laughs> I get emails sometimes they're like, Brie, why do you charge money for this? The thing is, is essentially the money that you're going to save, the benefit that you're going to get from this program makes it free. Most of my clients find $500 to $1,500 every single month that they were wasting and losing. Um, so the, the, the truth is you have the money, you just lose it and you might be stuck in that scarcity cycle of busy, broken, exhausted. So investing in yourself to learn how to systematically and kind of permanently cut the waste, save time, reduce stress is the exact thing that you really need to break out of that cycle and start to make progress. Um, so you're going to get the invisible system. This is a $997 value. It's five hours of content. You can do it as fast or as slow as you want. I have some clients that do it over six weeks. I have some clients that do it in a weekend. Either way is fine. So $997 total value. You're going to get the easy to follow worksheets. Now clients love these. It really what it does is it helps you to understand the big picture. And once you understand the big picture, then you can start to look into the nitty gritty without feeling overwhelmed because you know what's going on. It helps you to make sense of the numbers. It helps you to know exactly what to do. You're going to get rid of your worry and hatred of numbers. You're not going to feel like you're bad at math. You're not going to feel inadequate in any way because these sheets break it down for you in a way that's, that's clear and also nice and easy. So you're going to get the invisible system, um, five hours, amazing, amazing how to's on how to set up everything. And then you're going to get another $97 value with the super easy to follow worksheets. So it's a total value of $1,094. Then I have three bonus modules that I give you because, well, because you're going to need some mindset, some strategy and, um, and some habit work to be able to fully execute on the system, right? And I know that. So breaking the scarcity cycle. So you're gonna get some money mindset programming activities. Um, and this is another $497 value. And beliefs pretty much filter your reality. And so when you believe that you don't have enough, you say, I can't afford it. You get stuck in the, I don't even buy extravagant things, death by a thousand cuts, like money situation. And so we don't want that to happen. So with this system, you're going to get the invisible system. I'm going to teach you all this stuff, five hours of content. You're going to get all the tools, the super easy to follow worksheets. You're going to get breaking the scarcity cycle, money mindset activities, another $497 value. This stuff is so good. So we're up to a total value of $1,591. And then you're going to get bonus two. So bonus two is seven strategies to get rid of credit card debt. So I'm going to show you each of the seven strategies. I'm going to teach you when each is appropriate. So that way, when I was saying you have to pick the best strategy for you, this stuff really matters. There are some strategies that are going to be not good for you. And there are some that are going to be great for you. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. Not just tell you what to do. I'm going to show you how you're going to get the step-by-steps. So when we talked about that hamster wheel of debt, this bonus is so fantastic because it shows you which strategy is best. And then when you have the full understanding of what, what strategy you picked and why you picked it, you have the confidence to set a plan in, mo like set a plan in motion and then shift your focus. That is the main benefit that you're going to get. Plus, you're probably going to save thousands of dollars on interest also. I had one client recently who was in my office. We changed the strategy that they were paying their credit cards with. It's saving them $4,300 this year. 
plus they're going to pay off their debt faster. And it was just a shift in the strategy, not even the amount of money that they're paying. So it, it, that stuff really matters. It really adds up. So you're going to get the invisible system. You're going to learn how to manage your money. It's going to be so easy, so stress-free. You're going to be able to pay your bills consistently with just a few minutes a month. You're going to get the easy to follow worksheets. So that way you have the whole big picture and you don't get caught up overwhelmed in the nitty gritty. You are going to get the breaking the scarcity cycle money mindset activities. And that is a life changing. Like this is life changing stuff. And then you're going to get seven strategies to pay off credit card debt. And that's another $497 value. And listen, if you have big credit card debt, this, the value for this is going to be so much higher for you. Like if you have $10,000 in credit card debt, you're probably paying close to $2,000 a year in interest. So if you could pay off your credit cards just six months earlier, that's $1,000 that it's really worth to you. But I just say $497. So we are up to $2,088 in total value for this program. Plus there's one more bonus. Um, so another $497 is easy habit changes. And so I've done some work um, around the habits of self-made millionaires and the habits of poverty, what habits we have that set us up for success and what habits we have that hold us back. And so it takes more than just money to get ahead financially. So in this bonus training, I'm going to teach you the habits that millionaires have and the habits that poor people have. And so this sets you up so that way, even after your money stuff is is taken care of, you still have work that you can do to increase your ability to get ahead financially. And so listen, you're going to get the invisible system, the entire course, the full six parts. You're going to get all the worksheets that break it down, make it so easy. You're going to get the mindset shifts and breaking that scarcity cycle, another $497 value. You're going to get seven strategies to pay off credit card debt, another $497 value. And then you're going to get easy habit changes. I mean, if you just change one habit, let's just say you, you change just a coffee habit, just one coffee habit. If you were buying coffee every day, let's just say 365 days a year, $2. That's almost $800 a year spending on coffee. And if you change just that one little habit, just that one, um, that this, that's a, more than $497. So we are up to $2,585 in total value. Plus I have one more thing to tell you about, one more bonus. And I'm super excited about this. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. And so you're going to get access to the exclusive, the invisible system, Facebook community. And so this is a $997 because this is where you are going to get my time. You're going to get my time. I'm going to answer your questions. I'm going to help you. Um, so it's a live private Facebook group. And so the truth is clients pay me $350 an hour to tailor their cash flow. My one-on-one -on -one clients, my small group clients, like my six month clients, this is what they pay me to get the same result. And you're going to get that same access to me in this private Facebook group. So you get to ask your financial questions. If you have any questions or concerns when you're implementing, if you're finding that you need to do something a little differently and you're wondering how to make it tweak, you are going to get access to that group for full 12 weeks after sign up. So that is three months of support after you sign up for a six month a five hour course. <laughs> like you're going to get everything that you need. And so people ask questions. I usually, I'm in there pretty much every day. And if you ask a question I, that I need to make a video for, I will make a video for you specifically to answer your question. So that way it, it flows. It makes sense. And so this is a $997 value. Um, and so this is just such a good deal. So you're going to get the entire invisible system all of the work, you're going to learn not just what to do, but how to do it. You're going to get the worksheets that are going to break it down, make it simple for you, help you to have that, maintain that clarity. You're going to get breaking the scarcity cycle. Those mindset set, mindset shifts, say that three times fast, um, literally life-changing, life-changing activities there. Seven strategies to pay off credit card debt, another $497. Easy habit changes. <sighs> Another $497, 12 weeks of unlimited support, $997 value. So we are up to $3,582 in total value. Um, and if all this system did for you was help you to stop accidentally overspending, help you to cut the waste and inefficiencies and redirect that lost cash flow, um, 
to their investments and savings, that alone is worth the $3,582 because that's just about $300 a month. And I'm telling you, most of my clients find at least $500 a month in money that they were wasting accidentally overspending. So this is really just a fraction of what this system is gonna do for you. And if all this course did for you was to show you how to stop the thinking that was causing you to get stuck in that scarcity cycle and help you to make the shift into actually getting off that hamster wheel of debt and actually getting ahead, that alone is worth $3,582. I'm going to tell you that people come see me after 15 years of trying baby step programs um, and trying to really rush to pay off their debt and it hasn't worked in the last 15 years. How much do you think 15 years of credit card interest actually costs? Way more than $3,582, right? And so, so if all this course did for you was just to make those little mindset shifts, that's worth the money. And if all this course did for you was help you to get off that hamster wheel of debt and start making progress financially, that alone, just the credit cards, is credit cards are the number one complaint I get from clients about their money. The number one. Most people are paying this kind of interest every single year. That's the truth. Most people have about $15,000 in credit card debt, and that's the kind of interest that they're paying. Um, and so if we can clean up that debt even just a little bit sooner, if we can help you break those habits of needing money and get you off the reliance on those cards, that alone is worth the $582. And I had two choices when I was making the program, right? I can make this program as cheap as possible, sell it without any of my time, and just, just send it out to the mass market, right? Or I could give my clients attention, help, guidance, love, support, um, and that sort of thing. And so I wanna make sure that every person that gets this system has the support to be able to implement it because it's no good to have more information in your life. The last thing you need is information. What you need is implementation. And so I wanna make sure that every single person that buys this program gets to be able to implement it. And that's why I put my own time in it to make sure that you get every single little thing that you need to be able to fully execute this and make it work for you in your life. Um, and so I just wanna ask you one more question before I tell you the price. I'm sure you're on the end of your seats because I'm like ready, I'm ready to tell you. So what would it be like for you to be one of those good with money people? You know, if you were just one of those people that writes checks for things when it's time to buy it, one of those people that is prepared when their water heater goes, one of those people who takes their kids to Disney World and pays for it cash, you know, what if it was, what if you were just one of those good with money people? Is that worth $3,582 to you? Would you, would you trade in $3,000 to be good with money, right? And so listen, your investment for this program is only $297. This is a screaming deal. So your investment is going to be probably about six or seven hours worth of time because there is stuff to do besides take the course. You have to actually take the actions. And $297. Um, and so this is what it feels like to have a system that finally works. So Karen says, Brie, I just want to let you know that I'm so glad I stumbled across your system. I'm brand new to it and I didn't even have the extra money to spend, but I bought it anyway. I still have some money worries, but I feel now I have a plan that I can follow through on without beating myself up. The money I spent on your system was worth the peace of mind because now I can sleep at night instead of running numbers about how to get out of debt. I've only scratched the surface of your program and I'm paying myself $5 a paycheck and then doing the snowball on my payments, my credit cards. Thanks again for creating the system. And then later on, she said, I'm pretty sure that investing in this system was the best th investment ever. <coughs> Excuse me. And so this is what Lindy had to say to it. On another note, I would just like to thank you for this amazing program. I just finished all the modules and I learned so much. Like I had two thirds of my bills were coming out on the first paycheck. My husband and I have good paying jobs and I'm ready to stop living paycheck to paycheck with the scarcity mindset. I can't even wait to see where we are six months from now. And so, listen, if you were going to hire a budget coach, if you were going to hire somebody to help you do this and do it for you, you would pay on average $500 a month. And, um, and honestly, if you were to do that, it'd be worth it because most, most people are bleeding way more than that. But since you're deciding to learn how to do this, 
for yourself. You're learning how to implement it for yourself. So this way you get that skill set, you get to keep it, you get to, you get to take it with you, you get to practice it, you get to be better at it. You get to save money because you're not hiring somebody to do it for you. You're learning a skill set. You're investing yourself to learn a skill set. And so listen, you have two choices. One is to say that you're going to do it yourself, which is, you know, unlikely because that's kind of how this stuff goes. These, it's a lot of behavior changes. You're going to need the help and support. And you can stay on that busy, broken, exhausted, like hamster wheel. The other thing is you can make your life easy. You can buy this program right now today and have exact instructions for what to do. You can have that big picture, you know, view down and your life can start to be easier because your money will stop taking up all of your mental energy. So listen, if you're nervous, I just want you to know that you have a risk-free guarantee. If you don't like the system, if this isn't going to work for you, just ask for a refund. Do it in the first seven days. No questions asked. I'll just give you a refund. I don't want you to feel like you're taking any risk because you're not. You have nothing to lose. What do you have to lose? The program is $297. The ability for you to make that up and found money in one month is very real for most people very real. So that means after you buy it, by the time you're even done with it, you should pretty much be learning how to save $300 a month. And if you were to put $300 a month into your check or into your savings account, that's $3,600 in a year, right? And so that's amazing. You have the ability to really make amazing progress with the money you already have. So listen, you're going to get the entire invisible system, five hours of content. You can go fast. You can go slow. You can take your time. You're going to get the worksheets that make it simple and easy that give you that big picture, big picture view. You're going to get the three bonus modules. So the, the breaking the scarcity cycle is a mindset module, and that is going to help you to get some shifts in your thinking. You're going to get the seven strategies to pay off credit card debt. That's going to help you to choose the best strategy, save you money on interest give you confidence because you actually know what you're doing. You're going to have easy habit changes. So that way you can see how you measure up to self-made millionaires and start to change other habits besides just the monetary ones as you go, if you want to. You're going to get 12 weeks of unlimited support in that private Facebook group, another $997 value. So again, this system is really worth the $3,582. And for real, if you're able to just learn how to save $300 a month, which is not crazy, like this is totally possible. That puts you into the, that category. So I want you to get started now. So there is a button. You're ready. Let's do this. And so again, um, I'm going to start to answer some questions now uh, for, the, for the questions that I most, most often get. Um, but again, go ahead and click the button to buy this now. Like it is a great deal. The opportunity for the 12 weeks of unlimited support is not going to last long. Um, it's just not. So, um, if you want this, if you're thinking about it, take advantage of it now. It's a great deal. And you are going to come out so much further ahead. Like you could essentially make this program free for yourself. If you just change one little habit, one little habit. And it could pay for itself. So the questions that I most common get are, does this system work for me if I don't make enough money? So what this question says to me is a couple different things. So it could be saying that I have negative cash flow. Is it like if you're in negative, if you have negative cash flow, is it worth starting to change your behaviors? And the answer is absolutely. If you have negative cash flow, of course you should be doing something to get into that tight cash flow space. So that way you can eventually get into positive cash flow. The thing is, if you believe you don't make enough money, you're never going to have enough money. Like you have to change some of those thought processes. So the system is going to help you on your behaviors. It's going to help you on your habits and it's going to help you on your mindset. So that way you can start to realize that you are making enough money and that you can't afford things. Um, and that's going to be part of the really big wins for you. Okay. So again, I just want to reiterate, I know that we're we're about up on time. So if you are ready to do this, you can go ahead and click the button. There's a one-time payment, $297. And um, you're going to get the invisible system, the worksheets, the three bonus modules, breaking the scarcity cycle, seven strategies to pay off credit card debt, um, easy habit changes, and 12 weeks of support. 
So the next question is, my spouse won't get on board. Can this help me? And so here's what I have to say about that. Families are systems. And so when you start to make changes, your entire family is going to start to make changes with you because you're different. And so if your spouse isn't on board with, with any of this, well, then what are you going to do? Like both not do it, both not be good at it, both, you know, if your spouse isn't on board, it's even more important that you take the lead on this because your entire family depends on your money situation being stable. And so as time goes on, a lot of times spouses hop on board at a little later date. He might not be ready or she might not be ready to, to commit right now, but that doesn't mean that you should hold off. Like if you're ready to see the change, you have to do it and then they'll come along later. This is pretty much the experience I've had with clients. So my income is inconsistent. Will this help me? So what I find for my, <clears throat> like my clients that either own small businesses or have commission-based work for their, or even hourly work for there's a lot of overtime sometimes, but not all the time. The main benefit that they get is knowing really what their base minimum number is. And then when we have like extra money, so let's just say, so I had a realtor client whose like base number for what she actually needed was about $4,000 a month. And so her first $4,000 every month went, went, was allocated in the invisible system. When she made more than $4,000, we put, put in a plan around that where some of it um, went to like celebrate, some of it went to pay off debt, and some of it went to the working capital account. Um, and so it will help you to know that base number and then to come up with a plan for times that you exceed that. Um, and pretty much help to, to float you when you have a bad month. That's, that's the other major benefit. So for her, we had, it didn't take too long, but we got a $4,000 in her working capital. So that way, if she had a month where she didn't have a closing, she wasn't SOL pretty much. So I don't have debt. Do I need this? And the answer is, if you feel like you need it, yeah. There are a lot of people that don't have debt that still aren't where they want to be financially. So getting rid of debt is a great step, um, and it's a step in the right direction. But again, you can have no credit card debt and still not be saving and still not be making progress toward what it is that it is you want to do with your money. So if you don't have debt, you're going to be able to make even faster progress. You're going to be able to find your cash flow even better than if you do have debt. And so I would suggest working with me on this to be able to get you to your goals. Like debt-free, people think that debt-free is a goal, but it's not. Debt-free is getting rid of an obstacle. Debt is an obstacle. It's not like, you know, that'd be like saying, oh, I'd like my life to be problem-free. Well, that's not exactly a thing. So um, yeah. So yes, yes is the answer. If I don't have debt, you probably should still do this. Will this system help me save time? So people love to tell me how busy they are. And I get it. We have crazy lives. We have kids. We have soccer. We do the things before and after work. And so a lot of times people are like, listen, I cannot have more errands to run. This is why the cash envelopes don't work. Will this help me save time? And the answer is yes. When this system is fully in place, all of the automations will be set up. Your money will go right where you want it to go. And you should be able to pay your bills in about 20 minutes, um, maybe once or twice a month, probably twice a month until you get really good at it. And so when everything is set, all you, the only money that you need to worry about is the money that's in your pocket accounts. And as long as you don't overspend there, you're good and everything else is taken care of. So it's going to help you save time and it's going to help you save worry. And so again, we are almost done. If you didn't already click the button, I would totally suggest doing this. Um, there's a risk-free guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. If you don't like it, you can just return it within seven days and you will lose nothing. Um, but you have so much to gain. Um, you're going to get the entire invisible system, the full five hours of content. You're going to be able to get it where you can go through it slowly over six weeks, or you can do it bang it out in a weekend and change everything on Monday. You're going to get all the tools to fully understand what money is going where. Those worksheets are going to give you that big picture of you. You're going to get breaking the scarcity cycle. You're going to start to shift your mindset around that scarcity so that way you can start to take different actions. You're going to understand why you get rid of your money when you're in scarcity and then stop doing that. 
you're going to get the seven strategies to pay off credit card debt. And that should be saving you so much money and interest and in stress. And I'm feeling bad about having debt, right? You're going to put a plan in place and then be able to shift that focus. Then you're going to get bonus three, easy habit changes. So you can be more and more like a millionaire every single day. Then you get 12 weeks, three months of unlimited support from me on Facebook. I will answer your questions. I really care. I want you to be successful. And so I am in there. Like you get my attention and you get all of this for only $297. It is so, it's just such a good deal. Like it would be silly to, to not do it. You could probably save $297 just in money that you were literally wasting, throwing away or buying stuff that doesn't make you happy in just one month. And so listen, we're just about done. And if you want a higher level of service, if you are, if you want more than cash flow management, if you want the strategy work, you want me to work one-on-one -on -one with you with your mindset, you can fill out an application to work with me at bresedano.com um, for six months. If that is something that you feel like would be a better fit for you, you're welcome to do that. Um, so Thank you for sticking around until the bitter end with me. The worksheets I promised you, um, they will be in your inbox shortly. And here are the links. You can go to the invisible system sheep to sharks.com slash order form. I know there's a button on the sheet um, or you can go to briestadano.com to fill out an application to work with me in my one-on-one -on -one, um, six month program. So I hope you have an amazing day and I hope to see you in my Facebook group. All right. All right, everyone. Thank you so much.